The Wenzhou train collision, which occurred on July 23, 2011, was one of the most significant and tragic accidents in the history of China's high-speed rail. The incident happened on the Yongtai Wen line near the coastal city of Wenzhou in Zhejiang province, when two high-speed trains, D301 and D3115, collided on a viaduct after one train had stopped due to a lightning strike that disabled the signalling system. The collision took place during the evening when train D3115, travelling from Hangzhou to Fuzhou, was struck by lightning, causing its electrical system to fail. The malfunction meant that D3115 lost communication with the control centre, leading it to stop on the track. However, the signalling system failed to recognise this and did not turn the signal red for the following train, D301, which was travelling from Beijing to Fuzhou. As a result, D301 continued moving and collided with the rear of the stationary D3115. The collision caused several carriages to derail, with some plunging off the viaduct. The crash resulted in 40 deaths and nearly 200 injuries. The sight of crushed carriages dangling from the viaduct was both tragic and shocking, sparking national outcry and a wave of public criticism over the management of China's high-speed rail system. The rescue operation continued into the night and the following day, with emergency crews working to pull survivors from the wreckage. An investigation conducted by the Chinese authorities, including the Railway Ministry and the State Council, quickly revealed critical failures in the railway's design, signalling system and emergency management protocols. The immediate cause was identified as a signal failure, caused by the lightning strike, but the investigation also uncovered deeper systemic problems. The signalling system, which was designed and implemented by the Beijing National Railway Research and Design Institute of Signals and Communication, was found to have significant design flaws. These flaws allowed the system to fail catastrophically when struck by lightning without proper safeguards to halt train movement. In addition to these technical failures, there were accusations of mismanagement. Staff at the Shanghai Railway Bureau, responsible for managing the section where the crash occurred, were criticised for not responding appropriately to the signal failure and for their mishandling of the situation in the moments before the crash. The public's response to the disaster was one of outrage, particularly over the perceived lack of transparency from officials. Initial media reports were heavily censored, leading to suspicion that the true scale of the disaster was being hidden. When government officials eventually addressed the crash, they acknowledged the failures and promised sweeping reforms to the high-speed rail system. In the aftermath of the crash, 54 officials were held accountable, with some facing administrative penalties and others being removed from their positions entirely. These included high-level executives within China's Ministry of Railways and the signal system manufacturers. The incident prompted the Chinese government to rethink the aggressive expansion of its high-speed rail network. A temporary suspension was placed on new rail projects and the crash sparked intense scrutiny over rail safety standards. The tragedy also led to important changes in how the Chinese rail system is managed. Improvements were made to the signalling equipment, more rigorous safety standards were introduced and stricter training protocols were enforced for railway staff. There was also a renewed focus on transparency and safety regulations in the high-speed rail industry to restore public confidence. While the Wenzhou train collision remains a dark chapter in the history of China's rail system, it also became a turning point. China has since strengthened its high-speed rail infrastructure and the network continues to expand, now considered one of the safest and most efficient in the world. However, the memory of that tragic day in July 2011 remains a reminder of the importance of maintaining stringent safety standards in the rush for technological advancement. The Wenzhou crash serves as both a warning and a lesson in the balancing act between innovation and safety in large-scale infrastructure projects.